Hello again. I thought we'd have some chat time uh, in my studio because uh, I've been working on getting uh, mauve lilac um, finished and uh, ready to go off to Susan, which it did. My husband, the dear man, just took the uh, box off on his errands to uh, drop at the post office. And so I clear the decks, as you can see, in uh, my main workstation and my other two tables just to uh, decompress a little bit. I find that um, seeing the uh, my studio in this condition sets me up or piques my interest in, to moving on to other things. Uh, if I left all of that, <clears throat> all of those things around, um, it would inhibit me for some reason. But that's just Carol. So I wanted to share three books that I found down the road in uh, McClendy, Florida. There's a man in a little shop that sells, who sells books. And I don't know whether he's not doing well or he is doing well, but he's gotten to the uh, point that all of the books in the store are $2. $2. So my last visit, I, uh, I found these babies. I was just standing there and uh, I noticed that it was, uh, it, the cover was in French. And I uh, said, hmm, hmm. We like this, mosaics, oh yes. And then I realized, oh wowzers, look at these, um, look at these black and whites and heavy, nice heavy paper. This paperback is seriously heavyweight. And look at this beautiful, shiny paper covered in French. Oh my, am I going to use those pages to fold and turn into pockets, etc. So I kind of browsed through quickly, and I said, self, there has to be something in color here. I just know it. And, oh my, it's coming, it's coming, ah, in color. And here they are. And the reason I chose, I took this book, uh, because it was $2 primarily, uh, I love, love, love the look of this, uh, of these fine pieces uh, and the colors. Just absolutely love them. And they would lend so much to some um, collage. Uh oh, wow, sir. I just, I can't even begin to say, it just made me happy all over. Now, this one, I think this one is the one that caused me to... Uh, purchase this book. Isn't it something? So, not only do I get some pretty uh, pieces uh, of colorways that are so delightful and so dimensional, so here, as you can see, I absolutely was thrilled, thrilled to death. I don't think anyone else would look at it the way I'm looking at it, but I will certainly be using this and enjoying. And uh, 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 birdies, now I'm a happy girl when I see mosaic, and then when I see mosaic birdie, I'm I'm just too tickled to stand it. So that was one. This one was there. Edwardian and uh, Victorian and Edwardian Fashions for Women, 1842-1919. And I said, well, what have we here? And it is another one. Without exaggeration, this book weighs almost as much as this hardcover book. So, I remember uh, hearing uh, Paula, uh, Paula Forder on um, YouTube saying, that uh, she buys these um, these books uh, for these uh, Victorian uh, images and uh, uses them. Well, some of these are not um, are certainly not uh, their contemporary women wearing the clothing, but then some of them are not. And so, an oldie silhouettes. Now, these are young ladies wearing uh, probably Victorian clothing. 
but I thought maybe there'll be some more that I can uh, delve into and isn't that just uh, isn't that just lovely and more silhouettes and some older pictures mixed in and I went through this era and got to the one that uh, particularly tickles me oh what women used to uh, put themselves through so and a silhouette has always been a tickle for me so here's one an oldie that I shall be uh, and here's another and another ah yes three oldies so you can see why I uh, I lucked up on this one for uh, the lady's hair always seems to never ceases to amaze me their um, their hair often looks like that the style is not what I'm talking about it's the fact that these ladies, we just had some rain, that's why we have some frogs outside the uh, studio window here. Um, these ladies uh, did the best they could with all of that long hair because they did not have shampoo and conditioner in those days. They had to use the soap that was available. They had to uh, let their hair air dry or brush it dry, which was hours of work. And um, therefore, uh, their hair tended to uh, look like this, and I imagine there was quite a bit of time between hair washings. I know that's <clears throat> probably not something I should be considering when I look at that, but facts are facts. That was the uh, hair care of the time. Oh, my, my, my. Isn't she beautiful? Well, I will not keep going on and on. I'm just letting you see that, uh, oh my lord, look at that, uh, look at that bodice. Mm. So I, um, I took this one on a table. I certainly didn't carry it under my arm because uh, these two books are beyond heavy. And then I found this puppy and I said, Oh my, is this what I think it is? And yes, it is. And yes, it is. It originally was $5. I paid. So, so many things, so many things that were just a tickle. Goodness, aren't they happy froggies? My, my, my. Oh. oh, love it. Ornaments and alphabets. Architecture. I also love uh, buildings. I'm a buildings girl. Anatomy and medicine. Love that too. So, ah, flowers. Oh my. And aren't these just lovely? Veggies. Pages and pages. Animals. Yes. All sorts of animals, some of which don't look too happy, but uh, they weren't asked, uh, they weren't paid by the hour, so they were probably weren't too tickled. Isn't this book just a delight? Uh, a compilation of more than 5,000 illustrations and designs, two dollars. So, I know that you understand how happy these books made me. Now, I'm going to pick this wad up and put it on the floor and go to my uh, and go to my next share while trolling about in my uh, chest of drawers 
I found these papers that were rolled up very carefully at the back of the drawer, and I have to have purchased these. Um, I would say I have purchased these handmade, every one of them. I would say 20 to 25 years ago, and I was saving them. And the road to you know where is paved with saving things. So I said, never in a million years will I be able to use all of this. So I broke it up into four piles. Three are going to go on to my Etsy, and I'm keeping one. They range in size from the smallest, nine and a half by 13, and most of them are 11 by 15 and a half. And they will fit into this nice large envelope. And let's have a look at this. This uh, set number one has uh, seven pieces. All of the other ones have six. Look at the fine. Let me get, I'm going to get close again so that you can really see. Look at those fibers. And this piece. I don't begin to know how that's made. This side is lovely, of course, but I think there's something about this side that is really, let me get this out, there is something about this side that is really quite beautiful. And there is this one in, uh, in white. And there's something about handmade paper that is just, uh, just a delight. And it is also, of course, because it's handmade with fiber, it's very difficult to, uh, can't really rip it. Uh, so we have that one, which matches the gold. And this one, look at that dimensional, look at that dimensional white paper. Isn't it, uh, isn't it quite something? And isn't it something when it's on, uh, on something darker? So we have this one. And then this one, Be Still My Heart, uh, handmade, and it has obviously been ironed out to get it flat after it was made. This is what it looked like on the uh, back. And here it is with the uh, water laid on top, with the uh, gold uh, ink laid on top of the water, and this run through. And then there is this one, same principle, but the colors, uh, purple, bright green, blue, and gold on the top, and there is the, uh, the back. And this is the one that is not in any of the other uh, piles. Uh, obviously, uh, it was a small piece of paper. Uh, I do not know what, I know I didn't use it. But this is the same thing again, and this is the uh, two shades, mauve, lilac, uh, turquoise, blue, with gold. And there are the, uh, there is the background. And then I thought, well, that, uh, I've cut these two uh, four ways, and they do, and it does fit very nicely into this uh, mailer envelope. And then uh, I thought I would take these off cuts that I have in piles and kind of divide them up between uh, between the three uh, the three packages and uh, tuck them in as extras. Look at this! Wouldn't this just wouldn't this just be lovely? And this one has a uh, a bright pink, almost a magenta. See the background? My my my! So this is going to be uh, this is going to be shared because. I think it's ridiculous for me to have any more than one of these, um, one of these packets to use, and uh, for me to uh, share with my uh, crafting friends. So this goes here, and this is the I use this as a template for the, over the envelope that it will come in, and. That's the second share that I have today. This will not go on the floor because I don't want to pick up those little pieces of paper. 
the next share is um, this piece of uh, crazy quilt needlepoint that I did, oh, I would say uh, 10 years ago. And I have, uh, I have decided that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, use this, turn this into a, uh, a book cover, but I'm going to uh, slow stitch and uh, crazy uh, and, and embroider and just have fun on this, um, on this canvas. The potential here knows no boundaries. If any of you um, uh, know my uh, choices on Pinterest, you'll see that today I sat and picked some things out to give me um, uh, to give me some starting ideas. But uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to get my stitchery mojo working again. Then also, I decided to uh, scan it, and I thought, wow. This was lovely and would be lovely for um, using in uh, junk journals. So, some stitchery coming up. I will or will not share it with you, and if I do share it, I won't do it for uh, very long because I know uh, many people are not interested in stitchery, but uh, some of you are, and so uh, I may, might take a little bit of time uh, during certain videos to uh, share what I'm doing and uh, show how I'm doing. So that's next. And then I have uh, finally gotten uh, my digis straightened out. I know how to do them. I know how to scan them. I know how to plan them and I know how to put them on Etsy now. So I have no excuse not to do this and uh, these will be coming. The first one is a start on my collection of handkerchiefs. Some of you might have seen me work with these papers on um, mauve lilac uh, folded journal and I have many other hankies that I can get to but these three are going to be um, I'll be going to be coming first, and I ran them off on my uh, new printer, and I used a uh, uh, white cardstock, and I chose white because it was really the only thing I thought would work uh, would work well with these uh, with the colors. And as you can see, uh, this was just mauve lilac happiness, and that's going to be coming to uh, to my Etsy. And uh, in a foray uh, <clears throat> down in Palatka, Florida, my husband and I found a package of uh, vintage French music. Very, very, very uh, aged and tender. But I started working on the pile, picking the pieces that I thought uh, I would share with you. And uh, I have picked these pieces and I have printed them so that you will see the effect on white, uh, on white cardstock. This was the top of the, uh, the first ones in there, and I have a humongous pile of them. So I seem to, for years, I wasn't able to find anything French, and now I don't seem to be able to get away with it from it, and I love it. So this is the second sheet, and this one be, will be the uh, third, and. Um, this one is lighter than these because this one, for some reason, did not age. The paper did not age as greatly as the paper on those first two. Uh, Ariette de Cosi Van Tutti. Ah! And here is one that I found that is actually done in blue. Blue ink. And what a beautiful... I was very trying to be very careful to keep this bit because I thought, wow, doesn't that have great potential? Excuse me. <clears throat> ah, little drink. It is the st uh, stamp, lighter blue, white. And then this page was very, very, very aged. Wow, almost looked like the cocoa color. But isn't this just, just something? 
and this is how it comes out on white. And then I did it also because I thought you might like to see it uh, the same weight paper, but on buff paper. So this is the effect that you would have using uh, the buff. And so this collection of uh, vintage uh, French music will be coming also. And this, um, this took as long a time as I expected it to, if not longer, to um, uh, learn the ins and outs of this because it was totally over my head. But I want to share with something with you um, to show how bad it is for me to understand how to do this. Now, I have to do things a few times before uh, it sinks in properly, but... This is my, what I call my uh, studio brain book. It has all of the uh, things that, I'm, that I work on, people's cards when I purchase things, etc., etc. And here uh, is the, uh, the way I'm I write my information for my, um, uh, for my Etsy on digital downloads. And then... Putting a watermark on almost uh, drove me over the edge, and uh, my dear husband made me sit down and said, Carol, this is not going to sink in unless you do a hundred of them for days, because then you'll remember it forever, and that's the way my mind works. Yes, I would, but in the meantime, so this is my, uh, this is my cheat sheet on exactly how to get the watermark on the, uh, on the pictures. Of course, there's no, going to be no watermark on the, uh, on the ones that uh, a purchaser would upload. But select the picture. Now RC1 tells me, right click one. Open with Photoshop, left click one. Then left click in the T, change colors if necessary, uh, drag to make a box on the picture, type means put in Carol Martine art, and click the uh, green check mark, and so forth, all the way through. This is what it takes for this little girl to relax enough to be able to do it without uh, running up against a wall and then having to go and bother uh, my husband all the time. And I have done a few of these since following these directions, and oh, they're wonderful. So, now that you know uh, how I go about doing something that is totally over my head. That's how it works in Carol Land. And one more thing to share this afternoon. Ugh. I gave myself a treat uh, about 10 days ago and uh, I purchased this uh, naked journal because uh, Gail Augustinelli was at a retreat, and uh, the young lady there uh, made these, and, and I purchased, and she showed them to us, and I decided to give myself a treat uh, and purchase this from her, and she is a collective chickadee. On, uh, she's also collectivechickadee.com and collective chickadee on uh, Etsy. Etsy.com shop collective chickadee, all in one word. So, this arrived uh, the day before yesterday, and here we have, and I love the size of it. So, it has three nice full signatures, and uh, I'm, ha I'm very, very happy. There's a lot of uh, uh, coffee dyed and tea dyed paper in here, a bag, uh, many fun things. A piece of uh, uh, paper that has uh, features some music and so forth. A couple of each uh, uh, signature has a, uh, a coffee dyed pocket included. And so, this is a blank canvas and she also um, included some, uh, she also included some uh, offcuts and uh, in this nice glassine bag 
But one of them, one of them is a piece of the uh, cover paper. And I decided, well, now that this is my journal, and she has given me this wonderful start, I, uh, I thought I'm going to use a piece of this paper to uh, cover, to cover this uh, spine, and then I'm going to add a piece of paper here to uh, to make this just give this an extra little bit of strength before I start to play, uh, before I start to play on these pages, and it is going to be truly my uh, my playground. Let me show tell you why this box is under here and what is in it. So this is my plan for this beautiful, beautiful naked uh, journal. Of all of the things that are in this studio of mine, and my studio is uh, not very big, and I promise that uh, my next goal is to uh, take you on a tour of this studio, and I'm not going to try to hold a camera with one hand. Uh, my husband has volunteered, in quotes, uh, to do the filming so that we can have a real good look-see. But of all of the things in here, all the drawers filled with collage, etc., etc., this, this is the one that warms my heart the most. Don't know why. Second only to my good friend here. I took the um, plastic baggie with the snippets out, and I've included them in here. So these two things for Carol is um, my sanity and happiness is sanity is my sanity is iffy. But these things tickle me right to my toes. So let me show you what's in my happy place of a box here. Uh, I have a, uh, a daily planner that had some of these pages in it because it was a... Um, uh, a pre-done one. I didn't. I don't have an inclination to uh, make my own. Uh, I find it hard enough to uh, to keep it. Uh, I shared that with you at the uh, at the beginning of the year. So I removed some of these uh, papers. But I went through everything, and I put everything in here that uh, my favorite. I put my favorite toys in here. Is basically what it comes to. This is I have shown you, and you have seen me use these pages. Uh, that I removed uh, from this from a book, and uh, fussy cut flowers and bo and uh, botanicals. Just a nice hefty package out of that book. That uh, this you've seen me use my birdies. This was in another one of the two dollar books. The book itself, the cover not good, the pages not good, but there was a section in the middle of the book of these uh, colored birdies. So here are my little birdies. Here is another book that uh, I took apart and I decided to uh, cut these out on round uh, with round with my two inch cutter. So I have some circles. I have included uh, my three Tim Holtz uh, collage papers. My botan this is botanicals, this is flowers, flowers, and this is aviary. And of course, uh, each one of these was purchased uh, with a 40 or 50 percent off coupon. And I thought I would leave them in here because I have a tendency to be uh, out of sight, out of mind. So I put them in my very favorite little box here. Here, are uh, what's left of my posies. I've uh, included them in some. Uh, I have included them in some journals that I've made, and uh, I realize now that I'm getting low, so I'm going to be uh, making some more of them, and uh, I'll 
uh, but I'm going to make them in a different way. I'm going to uh, take uh, an idea from uh, uh, CC's Creations. Uh, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't found her, um, look her up on YouTube. She's capital C E E capital C E E uh, Creations, and she uh, she lives in uh, Quebec, and she does wonderful watercoloring. And these are all watercolor on watercolor paper. So I'm going to try some, to make some more because they just add so much. Uh, and I want to try her method. What else do we have here? Oh, some uh, envelopes that I had made using uh, my envelope uh, cutter that I got in um, Tuesday morning on sale. And it is just wonderful. And I had started doing a little bit of uh, collage on here. And uh, I think I'd better get myself back to this. So here are some envelopes that are waiting for me. Not to say that I don't have envelopes in the other drawers, but these, this was the snippet baggie that was in the back of my buddy here. And I decided that this baggie had to be in here. And this is, I could not ever imagine that this would grow as fast as it did in such a short time. Love it. And here are some, oh, here are just some extra papers. Um, these are the, uh, some of the uh, offcuts uh, in here. But this one is a little bit unique. And this is, um, these are uh, journals that I did maybe a year or two ago, probably two, uh, not these, uh, but those. Um, they were uh, reverse collage in um, chopped journals. And I decided that I could use these more and more <coughs> as uh, collage fodder than leaving them in those magazines that were chopped. So th th those magazines have provided all of this wonderful collage fodder. In fact, I have uh, I kept the cover, the back cover of one of the uh, of one of those chopped journals. And no, it does not bother me in the least to cut things up like this because all it means is that I'm going to uh, have a little bit more uh, fun playing with the uh, same items. And I did have a wonderful time reverse uh, painting them, collaging them. So that's that one. And then these were in a box, and these are all on um, watercolor. And uh, I am, uh, these are all originals, and I am considering um, scanning them and uh, using them, uh, using them for uh, whatever. So as you can see, these are going to lend themselves to uh, my playtime in this lovely, lovely uh, naked journal. Well, that's my share and my uh, chat for today. Uh, if you have enjoyed, please consider giving uh, subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, and I would certainly appreciate any comments that you might have. <laughs>